Welcome back. The stories about small communities that once existed in Central Texas have risen as lake levels have dwindled. It's amazing. People have seen lost items washing up on the shores of Belton Lake and are curious about if they come from what once stood there in the 50s. Six News reporter Adriana Alexander learned about the history before it was Belton Lake. What once lied in Lake Belton in the 40s and 50s is revealing itself because of low lake levels. Tonight, we'll dive into the memories below. The Belton Lake we use every day for water in Central Texas was not always just a lake. Bell County researcher Patricia Benoit says the area was first a town where 16 families called home. These were family groups that had moved in mostly from after the Civil War, but there's there's evidence that they were there settling in as early as 1844, 1845, right about the time Texas becomes a state. The area as a whole was known as Tennessee Valley. The community thrived through the early 1900s. By the late 1940s, most of these communities were down to just uh, a few. Uh, and, you know, like Bland, for example, was a pretty sizable little community of several hundred people. But by 1949, it had 20 mostly elderly residents. And the community became the perfect place for a water source for the area. One of the issues was enough water. And then the other issue was the flooding that would just wipe out cities. Belton had several very serious catastrophic floods. And so you know, this was kind of a win-win for everybody all the way around. So that's why the lakes were created. Grave sites were transferred to different locations during that time, but because some of them were unmarked, they could still be in the lake. While it's unlikely any remains of the area will wash ashore, memories of those small communities can still be found. Yeah, I think in some cases there's still these reunions. They happen every few years where they come together and just share stories and scrapbooks and family information. As historically low lake levels continue, you never know what you could find underneath. In Belton, Adriana Alexander, 6 News. Very cool. For more details about the Tennessee Valley, information can be found at the Bell County Museum. We'll be